treasure charger here welcome to my channel i've got a new permission an old home site i don't know a lot about it history was hard to get on this place so i'm guessing between 1900 and maybe 1960 so let's start digging see if we can date the home site see if we can find some goodies bring in on the first cool find all right first target pretty much on the surface some aluminum tube with a blue insert here not quite sure what's going on with this thing never seen anything like it but anyway that's our first target gonna keep hunting all right second target high tone ringing up about 30 32 not sure what we got here definitely looks like another aluminum piece beats me okay i'm gonna keep going third target another one of these aluminum caps tubes or something well there's no shortage of high tones in here so that's good all right just had a 22 it looks like we've got us a coin penny my bet is a weedy let's see if we can find out here real quick definitely greened up sure like to be able to get a little bit of an age here there's Lincoln Let me get down here where I can clean him up a little bit get us a date and get out in the sun Well, I sure can't tell anything. It's a weedy. There's the one cent. Let me get the magnifier out. And bring you in here. Looks like it's got a mint mark. Really like to have a better idea of the age of this place. nineteen twenty nine that's a good sign that's kind of where i was putting this in the nineteen twenties so good sign we're going to keep hunting yeah. just had a thirty two thirty four signal like a silver quarter silver half dollar got this aluminum disc with this uh piece of plastic here attached not sure what that is anyway another good sign that this uh, site hasn't been hunted we're gonna keep going did just pull out an old gleam toothpaste tube yeah maybe I can get some age off that though keep hunting all right I just pulled a 12 13 out We've got a bent up old fork here. It's not in the greatest shape. Kind of green too. All right. Another relic. We'll keep hunting. Yeah, we just popped out a low 20 signal. Not sure what we have. Maybe a big snap. Don't know. That's our target. Plenty of signals in here. We're going to keep going. Well, I'm right in front of this old shed out here. And we've got us a pretty good solid 22. Shouldn't be very deep. Let's see if we can score another wheat penny or we'll get some junk. Oh, ball lid. There we go. Usually those ring up a lot higher than 22. Let's 
Looks like the porcelain's gonna be intact here. Alrighty, we're gonna keep hunting around this shed. I well, just dug another high tone of 30. So that uh, that that bodes well for this winter when I come back when it's all, you know, the green's gone and I can get in here better. So anyway, this little aluminum cover looks like it slid onto something. So we're gonna keep going, hit the areas we can. Well, I'm down here trying to dig in this gravel with the old driveway. You can probably see down in the hole. Looks like I've got an old bike reflector, maybe. Uh, I'm going to work on this, try to get it out of there. We'll show you that when I get it out. I don't know if that's going to be a bike reflector or not. Maybe the back fender. Quite possibly. Anyway, that's our target. It's a good high tone. We'll keep hunting around here. Well, there's not much I can do here more today. I'll tell you, I'll show you right here why. So you can see that area up in there is where the house was. It's awfully grown up. It's hard to get around in there. So I'll come back this winter. So meanwhile, let's take a look at what we got. So we've got the obligatory alcohol containers, some junk, pop cans. Got a lot of aluminum. That kind of tells me maybe we're into the mid 1900s with this site maybe a little earlier early 1900s so we did find uh, an old fork that cool reflector and the 1929 uh, wheat penny looks like it's a d mint mark so that's going to do it for this hunt thanks for joining me